Parks News Center 7 wants to make sure you stay safe as you celebrate. Some cities allow people to set off fireworks this weekend. Firefighters said in cities where it's legal, people need to keep kids away from them and watch out for fireworks that do not light on the first try. Don't relight them. You light them, it goes out. That's a bad firework. Don't relight them. And they also say keep a hose or a bucket of water nearby just in case. And on WHIO.com, you can find a list of July 4th events in your communities from now until Tuesday. This includes parades and fireworks. And more Eyewitness 7 pictures keep coming in from storm damage around the Miami Valley. Here you can see a downed tree on top of what used to be a shed. At one point this evening, there were close to 10,000 power outages across the Miami Valley. And this latest supply chain issue could impact how quickly crews can restore power when it goes out. Transformers, those big things on the utility poles, they're in high demand and there's not enough supply to go around. There's also concern hurricane season could make the problem even worse. This from the American Public Power Association on the wait time for a transformer. They are now upwards of a year, sometimes even longer in order to procure. That's because there are only a handful of manufacturers in the U.S. The rest come from overseas. Nick Dunn joins me now, and Nick, over the last 24 hours, we've seen some pretty good rain across our area. Yeah, last night's storms, the, that lightning was just wicked, and yeah, we, we had what we had, <laughs> added what we had today, mm -hmm. and that certainly helps all of our farmers. It would have been nice if it came a little bit lighter and mm -hmm. not so much, you know, so heavy, but that's okay. I was looking at the last 24 hours, some of the top rainfall totals across the Maya Valley. Bluebell coming in at 1.82 inches this is the winter that I've at least been able to find so far. Springfield at just over one and three quarters inches. Xenia at an inch and a half. Here in Dayton, just over an inch at 1.2. And Sydney at about an inch and a quarter. So some pretty healthy rainfall totals out there. Now, it wasn't just us across the Maya Valley that was wet this afternoon. In fact, most of the Buckeye State seeing some showers and storms. Still some lingering severe thunderstorm watches down across Kentucky. But thankfully, things are getting a lot quieter across the area. And that should be the trend here really, as we go over the next couple of days outside of some lingering showers. So again, for tonight, a lingering shower is possible, but I think overall we stay relatively calm for your Monday. A few showers and maybe a rumble of thunder during the afternoon, but no severe weather is expected whatsoever. Not going to be a washout, and I would not cancel your holiday plans. For your 4th of July, warm and a bit muggy, and there's just a very low chance of a shower. Should not impact any fireworks displays out there whatsoever. Right now, though, if you're taking a look there from Greenville, just some clouds passing through the area dry in 69 right now. Visibility at 10 miles, and we look at the, across the rest of the Maya Valley this evening. Greenville checking in at 64, Richmond checking in at 64 as well. Oxford at 72, one of our warmer spots out there, and Bill Fountain checking in at 64 as well. Dew points is still a bit on the muggy side this evening, still in the 60s across most of the Miami Valley. And I expect those dew points tomorrow to kind of rise to right around 70. So another muggy day in store, but hey, at least temperatures are a bit on the cooler side. Looking at your hour-by-hour -hour forecast for tomorrow, we'll start dry, at least for most of us, in the morning. Getting into the afternoon, we'll make a run into the low 80s with a few passing showers and, again, maybe a thunderstorm, but not going to be a washout. It would not cancel your plans. Just be, again, kind of like today, be prepared to move them indoors temporarily. Fireworks displays for tomorrow evening. I think we get through them dry. Temperatures in the 70s, just a few clouds and a light northwest wind, which will hopefully allow the fireworks smoke to move along so you can see all the pretty fireworks out there. Future cast looks like this for us through the rest of tonight. Just some clouds lingering around. You might find a shower here. This run of future cast giving us a quick shower first thing in the morning. As we get into the afternoon, the clouds start to break. And when that happens, a few pop-ups are going to likely be passing through the area. Again, nothing severe. Nothing very heavy, but certainly we could use a little bit more rain to kind of help our farmers out there. Monday night starting to clear out and dry out as well with temperatures falling back into the 70s. So your seven-day forecast looking like this for us for tomorrow, 83 degrees. And for your Tuesday, again, we'll hold it dry. just like a 10% 10 chance of a shower. Wednesday, we'll make a run at 90 degrees. I do think now we might fall just short of that. More rain chances arriving for Thursday and Friday. All right. Thank you so much, Nick. We have new video out of Canada to show you. Take a look at this funnel cloud over Alberta. This tornado caused huge hailstones to fall over the area. 